The photoprobe biotin system offers a rapid direct method for biotinylation of nucleic acids. Labeling is based on aryl-azide chemistry in which the labeling reagent upon exposure to either heat or light becomes activated and incorporates into the nucleic acid without base specificity. Two forms of labeling reagents are available, photoprobiotin and photoprobe longarm biotin with a longer linker arm. Labeling and detection protocols are equivalent for the two forms. Both kits contain sufficient reagents for up to 50 labeling reactions or can label up to 250 micrograms of DNA, RNA, or oligonucleotides. Transfer between 10 and 40 microliters of nucleic acid sample into the tube. The concentration should not be higher than 0.5 milligrams per milliliter. Before use, reconstitute the photoprobiotin reagent in 500 microliters of distilled water. Mix the reagent and store at minus 20 degrees Celsius in the dark. Add an equal volume of labeling reagent into the tube with the sample. To activate the labeling reagent using a mercury vapor lamp, place the reaction tube with the cap open into an ice bath and slide the bath directly under the lamp. The lamp should be 10 centimeters above the tube. Irradiate for 30 minutes and be careful because a mercury vapor lamp creates a lot of heat. To use a regular tabletop halogen lamp for activating the labeling reagent, place the halogen lamp 5 cm above the uncapped tube in the ice bath. Irradiate for 60 minutes. To use a handheld UV lamp, place the lamp 2 cm above the uncapped tube in the ice bath. Irradiate for 30 minutes. For thermal coupling, incubate the reaction mixture for 30 minutes at 95 degrees Celsius. To reduce evaporation, the sample can be overlaid with 0.5 mL of mineral oil. Notice the color change of the reaction mixture from orange to brown after activation. After coupling, bring the reaction mixture volume to 144 microliters with distilled water. and then add 16 microliters of TRIS buffer. Raising the pH of the reaction mixture facilitates the removal of unincorporated labeling reagent during the extraction in the next step. To remove free labeling reagent, add 160 microliters of sec butanol to the reaction mixture. Vortex vigorously, then centrifuge for one minute at 1000 G's or about 4 to 5000 RPM. During centrifugation, the reaction mixture will separate into two phases. The lower colorless phase contains the nucleic acid sample. The upper orange phase contains free reagent. Using a pipette, remove the upper phase and discard. Repeat the butanol extraction step to remove any trace amount of free labeling reagent. To separate the phases, repeat centrifugation as in the previous step.
You will notice a decrease in the volume of the lower phase as some of the aqueous solution equilibrates into the upper phase. The volume of the lower phase should be about 40 microliters. Carefully remove and discard the upper butanol phase as in the previous step and save the lower aqueous phase which contains the labeled nucleic acid sample. Precipitate the labeled nucleic acid from unincorporated reagent by adding 2.5 microliters of precipitant and 150 microliters of 95% ethanol. For PNA samples, replace the ethanol with one reaction volume of isopropanol. Pellet the precipitated nucleic acid by centrifugation at 10,000 Gs or 13,000 RPMs for 15 minutes. Remove the supernatant trying not to disturb the pellet. Wash the pellet with 70% ethanol. Wash PNA samples with isopropanol instead. Centrifuge at 10,000 Gs or 13,000 RPM for 5 minutes. Remove the supernatant. Then air dry the sample for 30 minutes. Resuspend the labeled nucleic acid sample in water or TE. Solubilization of the labeled sample can be accelerated by incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 minutes. The labeled nucleic acid is now ready for use in your next application.